In this video, we're going to look at the concept behind seats and Venn diagram to solve probability problems. All right, so now after going through this video, you'll be able to know how to deal with probability problems involving seats and Venn diagrams. So ensure you stay till the end of this video. This is very important, guys. All right, now before I get a question we're going to practice with, let me explain the concept of seats and Venn diagram. All right, so let me draw this. Let me sketch it a simple Venn diagram showing seats on it. So we have this rectangle. This is just a sketching. All right, we have this. And here we have our universal seats. Okay, let's say this is it A. This is it B. All right. Now, note that Venn diagrams are a way of displaying seats in intersecting circles. All right. Now, note again that seats are just collection of things. It could be numbers. It could be alphabets. And we call these things elements. Now, in seats, there are some languages we use in seats, or uh, the terms we use in seats. When you have something like, now let's say, A. Now, we call this in seat A intersect B. All right, we call it A intersect B. And basically, this intersection, this symbol, stands for intersection, it contains all the elements in both set A and set B. It's where the circle overlaps, just like here. This middle is this place is this middle point is the intersection between set A and set B. Okay, so let me wipe this now. Another term you need to know is when you have something like A, this B. Now we call this A union B. All right, union of sets, let's say A and B in this. Venn diagram I have here contains all the elements in either set A or set B. All right, it's everything inside the circles. Okay, so everything inside this circle. All right, both circle A and both circle B. So these are the basic parameters or terms you have to know about sets and Venn diagram. All right, one more thing. If we have something like A, this. Now, I refer to this as A complement. Right? Complement of a set is simply the elements of a set that are in the universal set, which are not in that set itself. So, that's what complement of a set means. So, having known this, these basic terms, let me get it to the question. Environment probability, we are going to solve using sets and Venn diagram. Concept. Let's write this. Okay, guys. Now let's look at this question. A typical probability question we're going to solve using Venn diagram and set. So the question says a Venn diagram on the right, which is this Venn diagram, shows the number of year 10 pupils going on the history and geography school trips. Find the probability that a randomly selected year 10 pupil is a not going on the history trip, b not going on the history trip but going on the geography trip c going on the geography trip given that they are not going on the history trip all right very interesting questions okay for the a part of this question let's begin by getting the total number of year 10 pupils all right now the total number of year 10 pupils all right let's see in the school will be all the values we add all the values we have in this venn diagram so we have it to be 17 plus 23 plus 45 plus 15. so when you punch it in the calculator we're going to have it to be 100 okay now that we have the total number of year 10 pupils in the school to now get the number of year 10 pupils not going for history trip we are going to add the number of year 10 pupils which is Going for geography trip, which is 45 alone, plus the number of year 10 pupils neither going for history nor 
geography trip which is 15 okay so to get the number of year 10 people you're not going for history trip will be by the time you add 45 it was 15 which will give us what 60 all right now this will be the number of year 10 pupils not going for history trip the number of year 10 people going for geography trip was the number neither going for geography or history trip will give you the number of year 10 students not going for history trip okay now to get the probability the probability of the number of year 10 students not going for history trip will not be this 60 over 100 all right so which give us was 0 0.6 and now the answer to this question all right now for the b part of p let me wipe this it says not going on the history trip but going on the geography trip all right this is very, very straightforward okay since we have the total number of year 10 pupils in the school to be 100 now the number of year 10 pupils going for geography trip Will be this 45 we have it to be what 45 all right this 23 signifies that the number of year 10 pupils going for both history and geography trip is what 23 all right so we don't want the both side just want only geography that's why it's 45 all right so the probability will now be 45 over 100 okay so when you simplify this the more this will give us 5 into this 9 5 into this 20 so 9 over 20 will give us 0 0.45 so it's as simple as that now lastly for the last question it says going on the geography trip given that they are not going on history trip all right now this is very straightforward as well but a bit tricky if you're not careful so this is going to give us for the c part of the feet so it's going to give us remember going on the geography tree we have going on the geography tree we have the number to be 45 alone all right so this will give us 45 over now you see given that they are not going on the history tree um we have the value for people that are not going for the history tree to be 45 in our first question we saw all right plus 15. The one neither going for 15 is the value of the pupils, neither going for geography nor history trip. So when you bring this together, you're going to give us 45 over 60. Okay, so when you break this down, it will give us 15 into this, have it to be 3, 15 to this, have it to be 4. Okay, so 2 by 4 will give us 0 0.75. And that will be the answer to this question. So guys, this is basically how you can deal with problems involving probabilities or finding probabilities from Venn diagram. So there's something interesting for this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, ensure you check the description of this video below for a link to our Telegram channel. Click on it and join the Telegram channel for instant notifications. So ensure you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button. More videos like it, like, share, comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what I learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding finding probabilities from Venn diagram, feel free to be a question in the comment section below. I'll ensure to give you a response. Now click on the end screen above and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.